Last but not least for inserts, we're gonna make door inserts. These might sound a little complicated, but with the printable textures included in the Castles and Catacombs manual, these are a snap. And in fact, they even open up. So let's get started. We're gonna make three doors in this tutorial. We're gonna make a triple height, double set of doors, a double height, double set of doors, and a single height, single door. So just print out the door texture shown here and a couple of the brick wall textures. We're gonna use those brick wall textures for the frame around the door and the door textures for the door themselves. And you're gonna need two pieces of chipboard. You're gonna to wanna to put them at right angles to each other like this so the grain goes top to bottom on one and left and right to the other. And then tape them together along their edge. And then you're gonna trace on a wall insert. In this case, I'm doing the arched Gothic wall insert. And that interior area there, that is the archway, is gonna become our door. And just cut it out. And you can lay it on top of a piece of foam board to make it easier to cut out that cardboard in the middle there with your utility knife. Otherwise, it's, it's gonna be really hard in your hands. And we're going to glue on one of those uh, stone wall textures on one side of this uh, of the insert. And that printout is from the Castles and Catacombs manual. And just cut out the bits you don't need. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. And then it's time to prep the doors. First, we're going to find the midline there because we're going to cut this uh, these archway bits in half so we can make the two double doors. So the easiest way to find the middle is just to fold one of them in half. And then I just draw a line there to make sure I see what that is. And we're also going to need to trim down the width of these. So after we glue these two sheets together, because we want our doors to be a little bit thick and, and sturdy, we're gonna take a piece of foam board and use that to mark a channel that is the width of the foam board in the middle there. And we do that because this way we trim down the width of the doors just a little bit by the width of that piece of foam board. And that'll give them a little bit of room to sort of maneuver once we have the, the texture on there and the, and the masking tape hinges. And we're also gonna cut a little bit off the bottom. You see how they're sort of sticking on the bottom there? We want to. We don't want that to happen. So we're going to cut about a sliver off that's about the width of the blade on your scissors. Now we just test fit them real quick again. And you'll notice that now they have a little bit of, of space on the top, bottom, and the left and right. And that's what we want to have. And then we're going to prepare the textures for the door just by cutting them out here. You can just kind of rough cut them out like that because we're not going to use the whole thing anyway. And uh, then we're going to make the hinges, and the hinges are just two pieces of masking tape, one on each side of the door, so they match up to make one hinge that's two pieces of masking tape combined. And to this masking tape later on, we're going to also add the texture that we'll put on the door to give it even more durability. And once you've got the masking tape on there, it's just a matter of trimming off the bits that we don't need. You can see here I trim it off at the beginning of where it starts bending for the archway there. Because if you leave it on there, it won't, it won't open very well. And just match it up to the other one so they're even. And we fold the texture along the black line there. And just apply some glue to one side of the door, not both. We'll do the other side in a little bit. And put it all the way in that crease and just pat it down so the glue sticks to the texture. And then we're gonna cut out that side of the door texture and we're gonna leave it on the hinge because that'll do two things. It'll strengthen the hinge and it'll also hide the masking tape of the hinge because that wouldn't look very good on your final piece. Then we're gonna apply some glue to the other side of the door to finish it off.
and make sure the texture's on there real well. And just cut off the bits you don't need. There we go, one door and a hinge. And you're gonna do the same thing for the other door. And once you have your two doors, it's time to test fit them in the uh, in your door frame. You're gonna open it up and lay them in there. So we're gonna tape them in place with some masking tape. And you wanna make sure that masking tape isn't gonna be showing, so just make sure that it's not on any part of the door that'll be showing once you fold back the, uh, the door frame. There we go, and then just kind of test it out. So now if it's sticking a little bit, uh, just trim off where you need to. It could be just sticking a little bit because we've added that texture, which might have made it a little taller. Uh, it might be able to position it a little differently than when you, when you made the doors. So just trim as needed. And once you've tested it, it's okay if it sticks a little bit like that, like it'll help it keep the doors closed. But uh, once you've fitted them in there and, and trimmed them as needed, just glue the uh, frame together and you're done. Now yeah, one big old door. The double height double doors are very similar. Uh, we're just gonna do a door here that's rectangular. And you'll notice I've already marked the center of the chipboard part of the doors. Uh, and that's because there is actually a mark on the template itself for the midline of the doors. And I'm putting that channel in the middle again, so I can cut that out after I glue the two pieces of the doors together to make them a little bit narrower to make room for the hinge. And I'm going to put a texture on the outside of the door frame, just like we did for the triple height door. And we're going to do this on both sides, cutting it out with your utility knife. And then we're going to test fit the doors. This is uh, after I cut them out. I cut that channel out in the middle there, and I'm just going to cut a little bit of that sliver on the bottom. Basically, you always want to have a little bit of a gap at the top and bottom and left and right of the doors to make them easy to open and also to provide some space for the hinge. That looks pretty good. Same thing as for the triple height doors. We're going to print out a couple textures, fold them in half. And then uh, we're going to make some uh, hinges. One piece of masking tape on each side of the door. And then just trim the hinge down. Then apply glue to one side of the door so we can attach the one side of the texture. Pat it down real well. And then cut out that side of the texture. It's good to cut out that one side of the texture first so that way you know where the outline of the door is once you put the other side of the texture on. Otherwise, if you folded the texture over and glued it in place, you may not know exactly where the door starts and where the door ends. So you may cut into the door or you may not cut close enough to the door. And we'll just apply glue to the other side. Fold it over and put it in place, and then cut out the parts of the texture we don't need. And you're going to do the same for the other door. So here we have both our doors all ready to go, and then we're going to put them into the uh, door frame. And we're going to masking tape them in place, making sure that we put the masking tape somewhere that we won't see the masking tape once the door frame is folded back into place. And then we just glue the door frame around the doors. And if they're sticking the doors a little bit, then just trim them as needed. That looks pretty good though. Yeah, see, look at that. Got ourselves some doors. And it just test fit it into a pocket wall. And if it's a little bit snug, you can always trim off the sides or the top as needed. So this is a single height, single door. This is a very small door. Uh, you should definitely try to build one of the other doors first. So you kind of get a, an idea of how to do that. Because the smaller the door is, the more challenging it is to build because everything's, well, everything's smaller. Uh, but here, um, we're doing the same thing. We're cutting out the door frame from two pieces of chipboard taped together. And 
That is going to be the two sheets of cardboard we're going to use for the door. And we're going to apply a texture to the outside. Here I'm folding it along one of the grout lines because I can just literally use this one little tiny piece of texture to do both sides of the door frame because it's so small. Then just cut off the part of the texture you don't need. Glue together the two doors. So we're going to trim off just like we did for the other doors. We're going to trim off a little bit. You can use a piece of foam board to sort of kind of gauge how much you want to take off. For the width of the door, you want to take about half the width of a piece of foam board. So I'm just kind of marking that off on here. You'll find though after a while you won't need to have any kind of guide. You can probably just eyeball it and cut what you need. If you're making a lot of doors, you'll kind of get the idea of it. And we're going to add a hinge to this one as well. Two pieces of masking tape, one on each side, and then just trim down. And for these small doors, you'll definitely notice that those door textures from the Castles and Catacombs manual, you can make a lot of these small doors from just one printout of the door texture. And same thing, we're going to glue the texture to both sides, making sure to cut the one side before we apply the texture to the other side. And then just trim off the parts we don't need. And then we're going to put it into the door frame. You'll notice though, this one's going to hang out considerably from the side of the door frame. But we'll take care of that after we glue the door frame in place around the door. So position the door and uh, put some masking tape to hold it in place. And then we're going to glue the door frame around it. And then just cut off the excess of the masking tape and the hinge. There you go. One single height, single door. So if you haven't already, you can get started right now on your Torino journey by downloading the Torino construction manuals at GameGearMaster.com. They are consistently rated five stars and come with a 14 day hassle free money back guarantee. That means if Torino's not for you, no problem. You'll get your money back. No questions asked. Happy crafting. And a big thank you to my supporters on Patreon.com forward slash GameGearMaster. And a shout out to the architects on there who really go above and beyond. Brian Yao and William Dellinger, thank you so much. And apologies if I mispronounced your names. If you'd like to become a patron and get exclusive Trino products, go to Patreon.com forward slash GameGearMaster.